Hi, this is Paul from Lucas Music Academy. In this video, we are going to be going over the violin. So we're gonna talk about the parts of the violin, a good stance when you're holding your violin. Uh, we're gonna look at some good bowing techniques and how to hold your bow and where your fingers are going to be on the fingerboard of the violin. If you have any questions for us, please reach out and we'd be happy to answer that as well. We're now gonna be talking about the parts of the violin, and I'm gonna be going over each part. I'm gonna have my assistant to point to these as I'm talking about them as well. So all the way at the top of the violin, this is called the scroll. It kinda of, kind of looks like it's a, a scroll piece of paper that's wrapped around. And then right below the scroll are our tuning pegs. That's where the, the um, individual strings are wrapped around and we use that to tune the violin and keep it in tune and you'll see that they're wrapped around each one of those pegs inside there um, it, we can teach you exactly how to do that how to tune the violin and um, they are kept there by friction each one of these wooden pieces are considered a conical bore so when you push it in there it keeps it nice and tight uh, then if we're looking down the violin, we have the strings and you'll see that these strings are different sizes. Some of them are wrapped with different types of metal um, and they are under a different tension as well in order to provide the sound. Then you'll see the, the black piece of wood that comes down here. That is called the fingerboard. And that fingerboard is where you're actually gonna place the fingers when we're pushing the string down in order to provide a sound on that violin. Uh, going down the violin, the regular part here is called the body of the violin. And then you'll see these holes in the violin that help for some of the sound to come out. They're called F holes. So if you look at it, it kind of looks like a big fancy F. All right, now you'll see a, what's this called a bridge, okay, right here where the strings are going over the top and uh, that that bridge actually helps to um, transfer the sound inside the violin. And I'm gonna kind of show you inside here. There is a wooden peg that goes from the top of the violin to the back of the violin, and that helps to um, transfer the sound through the violin, because it's basically a big sound box. Down below the strings, where the strings are attached, we call the tail, and then Depending on the violin that you have, you will have these fine tuners that allows you to make very small adjustments on the violin in order to get the correct sound. This whole tail is attached to the bottom of the violin with what we call a button. Kind of looks like a button right down there. Uh, you'll notice right here we have our chin rest. So that's where you're gonna place your chin. It helps keep your violin nice and sturdy when you're playing it. Now we're gonna turn our violin over. The back of the violin, we call the back, right? That's pretty easy. Kind of looks like a tiger stripe pattern on this one. And then we also have a shoulder rest. That's where it's gonna be placed when the violin is being played to keep it nice and sturdy. So we're gonna be holding it in between our chin and our shoulder, okay? On the side of the violin, we call this the ribs of the violin. Now going over to the bow. To produce the sound on the violin, we go over the strings with a bow. So the entire thing is called a bow. All the way up here at the top, we call the tip of the bow. And then we have the stick of the bow. And then these are horse hairs, big long horse hairs that are on the bow. Okay, and those horse hairs um, have some rosin on there, which is basically tree sap that helps it to get a really good grip on the strings in order to grab them and um, allow it to vibrate. On the bottom, this is called the frog. Okay. And then on the bottom, all the way at the bottom is the screw. And you turn the screw and that helps us to keep the horse hair nice and tight. One thing that you want to make sure you don't do is touch the horsehair with your fingers because oil on the horsehair 
will not make it work very well. So that's all of the parts of the violin and the bow.